Hey, it's Paul, and if you haven't seen already, Ionic 3 has recently been released. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you how to upgrade, and don't worry, it's super easy. All you have to do is change a few settings. So inside your package.json, simply take your dev dependencies and dependencies and update them to the values on screen. I'll put this in the description so you don't have to worry about copying it right now. But essentially, we need to make sure Angular is at version 4, Ionic is at version 3, and all the other dependencies match up too. When you've done that, we can go into our Finder, and we can delete the Node Modules folder. Now, it's really important that you don't overwrite any dependencies or dev dependencies that you already might have on the project, as when we come to install them again, you won't actually get them if they're not listed inside of your dependencies here. So update everything that's already there and keep things that aren't listed in the description. Once you've done that, inside of your CMD, you can run npm install. This will upgrade everything to the latest version. When that's finished, we can run ionic info. Make sure you're in the project directory and I'll tell you the version of ionic framework that's inside that directory. So we can see we're now on ionic 3.0. The final thing that we have to do relates to changes with Angular 4. So inside of our source app and app module, we have to import something called the browser module. So we can import the browser module from Angular platform browser. We then need to add it inside of our imports. So browser module like that. So this works a similar way. For example, if you wanted to import the HTTP module to use HTTP within your Angular apps, you'd import it like that and then add it to your imports. If we run this on the device or we run Ionic Serve, we should find that our application works just as before, but now we're using Ionic 3 instead of Ionic 2.3.0. There we are, no console errors, so that's all good. There are a couple of breaking changes with Ionic 3. First off, with the grid. The old grid is now deprecated and the new grid is now in use. You can find how to use this in the description, but I'm going to have some videos up very soon. So check out the videos when they arrive. The second relates to the color selectors within text elements. So if you put a color selector, for example, color equals primary, maybe on a H1, 2 or 3, you'll now have to add the ion dash text attribute, else it won't work. These have been deprecated since RC3. So I imagine you'll have had the console error if you've been trying to use these for a while. But it's definitely something to keep in mind if you find out that that's not working when you upgrade to Ionic 3. Ionic Slides has also had a numerous amount of changes. Properties and methods have been renamed. And you can find the information about this in the description. Until next time, my name's Paul Halliday and I'll see you in the next video.